This evening we're going to be working on securing the floor down because right now it's just laid out. We had to lay it out to make sure we had enough flooring and to just see what it was going to look like and make sure we didn't want to change any boards. So now we're going to start working on securing it to the floor and we're going to use liquid nail and then we're also going to nail it with the nail gun and we're going to have to like pre-drill and hand nail some of the boards just so they don't crack. We decided to use liquid nail because one of you guys actually recommended it and said that it would help the larger floorboards to not squeak whenever you walk on them. So we just now finished for the evening and we got all of this done. So we got a little over half and we should be able to finish it out so good and I absolutely love it. We're having to nail, the shadow is so bad, but we're having to like nail through the top. I know some people asked about a brad nailer, but this is not like normal flooring. This is just like a basic board and we're having to nail through the top. And where we can, we're trying to nail through like the old holes. So like that's an old hole, but the board didn't need it. So that's why we didn't put one there. But I love it. I think it gives it so much character. So the day is finally here. It feels like it's taken us forever to get to this point, but we're finally gonna be working on sealing the floor. So I'm about to sweep in here really, really good. I'm gonna sweep multiple times with the shot vac and then I'll go over it with a wet rag and just to wipe away any of the extra dust. We're gonna be using a water-based polyurethane and we ended up going with this just because we didn't want the floors to yellow. So in here in the kitchen, I just do not think that linseed oil would be the best option because one, I do not want to have to like reapply the entire kitchen floor. We just need something a little more durable than the linseed oil. I just finished. 
finished and I just noticed that we need to finish cutting that out, but that's fine. I can go ahead and seal over and cut out later. I just finished vacuuming, so I'm gonna let the dust settle and then I'll at least vacuum so tomorrow. I think I've swept the floors enough. I think they're ready to be wiped down and I'm literally gonna look like a crazy person because I changed my clothes and put a hood on. I put a hoodie on so that I could tie the hood around my hair because I'm terrified about hair getting in this. Like I didn't know my hair like at our old house. So I don't know what they did whenever they sealed that floor, but I just want to make sure I did not get hair or any dirt stuck underneath the ceiling. This is the pro so this is the polyurethane that we ended up going with and it does say that it does give a slight amber tone but i've tested it and it's not bad it is definitely way less than what oil will be and also oil makes it yellow over time but since this is water-based it's not supposed to do that so what you see is what you should get and then this is what i'm going to try and put it on with first i think this is called a lamb's wool applicator i am really not sure i am new to the whole floor finishing thing but you have to make sure that it's for water-based it's not even going to focus but you have to make sure that it's for water-based and not the oil-based just because there is a really big difference so this one is specifically made for the water-based so that's what we're going to so be i'm about to start i'm just going to take my time with it and i'm going to wear my hood over my head so that i don't have to worry about my hair as much and then I don't have like the dust booties or whatever, so I'm just gonna wear a pair of socks. I know that's probably not the best, but I'm working with what I got and all I have is socks. So that's what I'm gonna do. And my shoes are not clean enough to wear, so we're just gonna go with the socks. I have watched several videos on it. And from what I can tell, whenever you first start, it's really hard to like kind of get the hang of it. It says that you don't have to stand between coats as long as you put the second coat, put another coat on before eight hours. So you have like a two to eight hour window that you need to reapply. So I'll probably wait at least like three hours before I go ahead and put the second coat. I can't tell if it's because the sun is going down or what, but it looks lighter to me, which this is more of the look of what I was going for. Instead of like so much orangey yellow, this is more like muted tones. And you can still see that it is shiny a little bit.
floors look super dark now, but it's just because it's dark outside. But it's been several hours, so now I'm gonna apply the third coat. The polyurethane on the can, it recommends three coats, but I'm gonna wait and see how this turns out because I may do four. I'm not really sure yet. I'll have to wait. So it is the next morning and I ended up putting four coats on this and finished the last one about midnight last night. So it's been about eight or nine hours since I put it on. It's definitely shiny in the spots where the light's hitting it, but it's not that shiny like all over. It's just whenever the light hits it. I love the finish of it. It doesn't look like the hardwood floors that you buy that have that like thick, thick, like clear coat on them or whatever. I don't even know. Here's what it looks like up close. So you can see that it's really just like a matte finish. It's not shiny at all. It recommends that you don't put furniture or anything on it for seven days. But our house is not 77 degrees and we know that the humidity is not 50%. And that's what the perfect cure time would be for seven days. Our house fluctuates between like 69 and 71. So I think we're going to give it nine days, which would make it, which would be two Mondays from today. But we have tons of projects that we can continue working on until these floors are cured. But that's going to be it for this vlog. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys will like and subscribe.